Good morning and welcome to Play and Learn. I'm Dr. Susan. This is Maverick. He's my co-host today. And welcome to December. <laughs> this month we're going to be looking at all the different ideas about Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all those different ways in which we celebrate the holiday. So today we're going to start out with a book and the book is called, um, let me get right back here, In My Heart. And the book isn't really a Christmas book, but I'm going to use your ideas and hopefully mine combined together and Mavericks in how we take that idea of that book and turn it into something for the holidays. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the story and Maverick's going to do some pre-cut work for me while we're, while we're doing the story. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right. There we are. <laughs> okay. This is In My Heart. And it's, it's a book about feelings. It's by Joe Wicket, Wicket. I think that's how you say his name. Or her. And the illustrator is Christine Rossi. So we're going to see what this story is about and how we're going to tie that into the holidays. It says, my heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings, loud and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. And she has an array of clothes she's hanging up on there to talk about her feelings. Sometimes my heart fills with like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast I feel all I could do is take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. And yellow is a very bright, happy color. Other times my heart feels strong. I can stand up tall as if I could touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. Think about the times when your heart was brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. And I know we all have done that, and we've all had that experience. And there's a big boom at the top of that. And that's a good, brilliant orange color to describe that feeling. But other times, my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. I'd like to see the snow fall upside down, wouldn't you? I think that would be interesting. <laughs> that might be fun to see. All right. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart hurts too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. I know we've all experienced that too. Some days, my heart feels as heavy as if it were an elephant. Can you imagine how heavy that might feel? There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad like springtime after winter. The sun comes out again. My heart, heart grows tall like a plant reaching towards the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Spring's always a hopeful time. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. It feels cold, as if its chilly breeze has crawled up my neck, and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. Yeah, I'm sure we've all kind of run away from things that have made us scared. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. 
Sometimes I hide my heart away when no one, where no one can see, like my small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? How proud she is at the top of those. That looks like a tree with hearts in it. The end. Oh, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. All right. Thank you for the pretty hearts, Greg. It doesn't want to want to work. Well, we'll use this glue instead. All right. Sorry. Now we're back to where we were before. Um, I wanted to talk about how I how I kind of got the idea of the book that we read. Talked a lot about our feelings and how we feel about different things and at different times. And it also I also wanted to kind of find books and things that were interesting enough that would relate to the holidays, whether it's Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or any other holidays uh, that uh, people celebrate. There's probably lots of them that we aren't even aware of, but the ones that we are. So I wanted to see how I could take this idea of this book and create something that could kind of go along with all of those different things that we'll be talking about throughout the month of December. So what I thought of is, I thought of, okay, she's talking about hearts. So I took the idea of the hearts, and I said, let me find some words in the book that related to feelings that we usually have during the holidays. And I know, because I'm one of them, I'm one of those things called a parent and a grandparent, and there are times when we're frustrated and we're afraid and we're, we're tired and we've gone through all these things to get ready for the holidays. And right now, as we all know, we have this extra thing that's kind of sitting on everybody's shoulders that changes our whole experience of the holidays this year. I know we just had Thanksgiving. A lot of us couldn't go visit our families and we couldn't have our families come and visit us. So it's probably going to be the same for the holidays at Christmas, too. So how do we take those ideas and those feelings, those sad and mad, because I know I got mad a lot of times during this whole process, because there, it was so frustrating to not be able to do the things we normally do. So the whole idea was to take those ideas and to recognize those feelings when we feel sad and mad and angry and all those things and shy and how we can take those things and kind of turn them around a little bit give us a different choice even though we're frightened we can choose to be brave remember the one part she says when she's a certain way her heart is brave and when we're mad because things aren't working out the way we want how we can turn that around and make it more productive for us instead of just having us in a mood that nobody wants to be around. And then there was the other parts, too, of being shy, shy about having to recognize that we can't have things the way they always are or were that made us happy and made us feel comfortable and safe. So how do we take that idea and change that around, too? So we're going to take a look at that. And what I came up with was to create a wreath. Now, this wreath, for our particular thing, I focused it on Christmas holidays. So I took the papers. I'm going to hold those up in a second because Maverick's already got his, the words already laid out. And I don't want to mess up his paper. Thank you for all your work, dear. So anyway, so Maverick, how, how do you see Christmas dif this way, different, than you normally would and the things that we've all, you've always done? How are you going to be doing it different this year? Well... It's actually not going to be that different mm -hmm. from another year. We did sort of the same thing. Um, but the, I'd say the only thing that would be different is you can't see other people. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, it should be pretty similar to another year we went to a cabin for Christmas on a lake. Oh, that's cool. Did... Um 
so because you can't see uh, and have the holiday parties and things like that that you did years before, uh, how do you relate to your friends? How are you thinking about relating to your friends this year so you still get to exchange the, the holiday feelings that we normally have? Have you got ideas about how you're going to do that with your friends this year? Um, or family that you don't get to see? Well, I mean, now with all the technology, you can see them over like FaceTime, Zoom, all that stuff. Okay. Now, if you didn't so. have FaceTime, you didn't have the technology, how would you do it? Use your clever mind. How, how, would you do, how would you do that if you didn't have that? Technically, if there was no technology, the only way would be to write a letter. To write a letter. Okay. And you could do that with? Or send something in the mail. Or send something in the mail, because the mail's been around a whole long time, right? Okay. So those are other ways that you could communicate how you're feeling, um, how you're missing someone, and things of that nature. So we have different ways in which we can do things. So with our wreath, hearth wreath, hearth wreat. <laughs> our heart wreath that we're going to create together is when I was thinking about the book, and you come up with other words too. If I did, when I, if you came up with other words too that you might have wanted to put on a heart, okay? So if you do think of some, let me know what they are. So I took some of the ideas from the book, and she did talk about being happy, and she did talk about um, the. Uh, how she feels peaceful and calm, and when she's excited, we chose, or I chose, uh, and she said in there, giggles and wiggles, and I thought, well, that's a good way to describe the uh, Christmas and family and things, the giggles and wiggles, and blessings, that we're blessed to have our loving home and our family, even though we may not be able to get together with them, they're still there. They're, we carry them around in our heart and our minds all the time. So I'm, we're going to go ahead and do this. Mav is going to, you, work, you, you can do a glue gun, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to trade places. You're going to stand over here, and you are going to glue, glue those, these. Yeah. these this are, one too? Uh, yeah, that one too. Uh, and we're going to show you these as we go along. Do you want along. me to do it over the thing or just? No, you don't have to. It's okay. So while we're doing that, I went to the store, and I bought one of these. Whoops. Screens turned around on our camera, but we'll fix that in just a second. But we'll work with this camera first. So I took this round the the wreath, and I had a couple of ideas about it. And I thought, well, maybe I'll cut a piece of cardboard that's circular and glue it on top, so that it had a flatter surface. And I thought, mm, no, I think I'll do it in the kind of the traditional way. So I have this ribbon, and I didn't have one that was really super long enough. Okay, there we go. Now we're back up, so you can see the wreath that I did, that I picked up. And then I have two, to take my pins out, two different kinds of ribbon. Now, if you wanted to, you don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. You can, we have to take two, two ribbons, um, and we're gonna wrap the wreath in it. You don't have to, it's kinda hard to figure out how I'm gonna get this so you can see it what I'm doing oh. at the same time. So I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to just push it into the wreath, the styrofoam wreath, and then I'm just going to wrap it. And this just takes a few minutes time to do this. But you can also, if you wanted to, you could wrap it with tissue paper. If you, and you don't have to color it at all if you really don't want to, because the hearts are going to cover the top part. But I like the idea of the ribbon, because that very much reminds me of the holidays and, and the uh, ribbons on packages and things like that. So we're just going to kind of keep wrapping it as we go all the way around. So we do that. But when I was talking to Maverick a few minutes before we got started, I, I told him, I said, you know, I kind of wonder sometimes where the ideas come from. And what I'm going to share with you, it's, it's going to, it kind of goes with what we're doing right this minute, and then the next video that we're going to create has to do with the Polar Express, which is a... But as I was driving, I said, well, there has to be more to what I can share with the story than hearts, because the heart was the main part of the book that we're, we're looking at right now. So I thought, well... 
it would be nice to have a reminder of something that we can see. Because sometimes minds get so busy, we tend to forget about the uh, things that happen in our lives that, that uh, sometimes things are, are frustrating and sad and, and uh, I might get my other piece. And we really don't want to have to um, spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out how we can make it different. Oops, a piece of paper just went. And I'm going to put my other pin in it. These, these are straight pins, and they work great in sticking in the styrofoam. So we're going to go all the way around. And I was, I'll finish telling you the idea that I had that I came up with in the, the um, cards. And I thought, or the, the hearts that, we, that Maverick's working on right now, I thought, how can we take that and make it reminders? That's kind of pretty and kind of fun to look at. And it's also a way of decorating. And the, because I don't know about you, but I, Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. And one of the reasons for my favorite holidays is because it's my daughter's birthday. She was born on Christmas morning. I never thought that would ever happen to me, but it did. She was born Christmas morning. And then when she got married and she had first baby. He was born Christmas Eve. I thought it was a little interesting how that kind of all fell together. So I have like triple reasons for enjoying this time of year. So I have two birthdays and Christmas, which to me is a very joyous time and a time for family and friends and all of those things. Okay, so now that I've gotten all the way to the end of the wreath. I'm going to pull another straight pin and poke it into here. All right. Now, as I said before, you don't have to use, you, didn't, you don't even have to use the styrofoam. You could just make a circle and cut it out of maybe poster board or something like that and make a circle and make a wreath that way. You don't have to, uh, if you don't have fabric, you can cover it with, like I said, tissue paper, or you could paint it if you wanted to do that too. So there's lots of different ways that you can create the wreath part of this. All right, so we have our wreath done, and... But don't spray paint it, because it will dissolve the foam. Oh, see? Now, I didn't know that. I've never tried I knew never it. I know paint. it because I was doing a school project that I needed to paint styrofoam. Oh, now did you... Paint it with a brush, or did you paint yeah, it with spray paint? Yeah, I painted it with a brush because you it can't dissolve. spray paint. No, with spray paint, it will oh, dissolve. Oh, with spray paint. I wonder why. Hmm, that might be interesting to find out. But anyway, so Ma Mary said, don't spray paint it. <laughs> but if you want to use like poster paint or something like that, that would probably be okay. You think? Yeah, right. If you paint it with a brush, it's fine. Okay. So if, you, if you're going to paint it, do it with brush. Don't do it with spray paint. <laughs> All right. So that's one more interesting bit of information I didn't have before. All right. So we're going to take the wreath that we've gotten done, and have you got these? Yeah, and this is the pile of done. Oh, that's, that's the done, those are, those are out too. All right, and then I, I wanted to take the, uh, the idea and also have a heart. And so I, luckily in my supplies of all my little crafts and things, I have this little wooden heart. So I wanted to have it as kind of the typic, the, uh, top of the iceberg, so to speak. So I'm going to put this on first. What if you hung it in the, yeah, that's what that's I That's what I'm going to do, hung it in the middle. I'm going to hang it in the middle. I'm going to hang it in the middle. All right, so I'm going to do it like this, and like this. I'm going to do it with a pin, because if you, if you hang it as one stream, it turns all the time. This way it doesn't turn all the time. At least that's what I discovered last night when I was kind of playing with this. So we're going to hang it like this, as you can see. Can you see that? There we go. I'm going to hang it like that. I'm going to move it over a little bit. And we have to have a hanger so that you can actually hang it up. So we're going to put that in the middle. And then I'm going to take the hanger. And I just took a piece of ribbon, folded it in half, and glued it 
and I'm going to lay that on top of the two pieces of ribbon. And again, take a straight pin and push it through all four layers. So now we have a hanger and with the heart that hangs in the middle. See how that goes? There we go. That's that part. Now, if you don't have a wooden heart, you can create your own. And you don't even have to use a heart if you want, don't want to. If there's something else that you like better that reminds you of the holidays, then you can use that. So we're always a choice. Okay, now we're going to lay this down. And Maverick is going to take these hearts and... I'll kind of show you how we're laying them, and then you're going to use the glue gun, mm -hmm. put a little bit of glue on the back, and then they're going to go on here like that. So, so let's start it. Let me show you this way. We're just going to kind of do the layout. Here. So, we so kind you of just kind of do like that, and then yeah, you're going to go. Do it. Yeah, you're so gonna on the bottom, are we going to go underneath, or do we want to flip them so you can start? No, nope, they're, so they're going to be upside down, so you get to stand on your head to read. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll start doing it. You get that. to learn to practice the balance. There we go. One more exciting thing you get to learn how to do. So you're going to... But it's not a requirement for this project. No, it's not a requirement. It's just something you might want to have fun doing. So the first word we're putting on here is friends. The second one that we're going to put on here is... What was that one? Family. Family. Next one is family. It can go over top of the ribbon. That's fine. You can go up next to it. You want to go close so you get all 12 in the ring. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to go close. Right next to it. Touch it. Yeah, with the hot yeah. glue, I think it kind of That's dried. okay. Yeah. Just go. Ahead. There you go. Just like that. Oh, you have to put the, more on. Yeah, the hot glue yeah. dried too fast. Yeah, it has to lay next to that. Because we have these 12 that have to fit all the way around the, around the wreath. This is our fun part of learning and experimenting. There we go. That one's family. So if you, if you really wanted to, you could take, uh, if you didn't want to use all these different words, you could take the name of everybody in your family and do a heart for each one. And that would be kind of cool to put, on, to put on the wreath. And you might want to even include your pets. That would be fun, too. Okay, so he's going to keep going all the way around till we get all the way to the other side. But we have, and happiness is another word that was in the book. Remember when she was talking about her when her heart was happy? So uh, I moved it from happy to happiness. And this one is, that one is joy. How we get joy and joy from our family and our friends. And I wonder how, what the difference is. Why don't you think and about that? And do we get joy from know? happiness too? There, and I, yeah, <laughs> that's, what, that's just what I was going to say. <laughs> See, two minds. But the, one of the other things that we talk about is, yeah, if you put happiness in there and then you put joy, is there a difference between the two? I don't know. That would be something you get to choose for yourself or decide for yourself. Now, to me, happy is kind of a always underlying feeling that I like to... Same with the peaceful keep. and calm. Yeah, that's right. And to keep in my own self. And joy is kind of like that little spark that kind of flies out like... Um, Fireworks. You know, you have these um, the underlying feeling of happiness that we have all the time, and then all of a sudden something really exciting happens, and that's the joy, the additional joy that you get out of all the experiences that you have. So that was, to me, that's what the, the little bit of difference of what the two is. Now you were talking about uh, one, some of the other words we have in here is peaceful and calm. And how is that different? And... Peacefulness is a sense of, of, of all around, all around uh, everything kind of is in balance and everything is kind of flowing the way you want it to, which gives you a peaceful feeling. Calm sometimes is that emotional feeling that you have inside that uh, when things are kind of crazy and chaotic and stuff. So you can be in, you can be in a situation where where everything is kind of crazy and chaotic, and I could share my ex computer experience just a little while ago before the show started, but I'll go into that some other time. <laughs> but that wasn't peaceful for me, <laughs> and it wasn't working the way I wanted it to work, and didn't understand, so I went ahead and, and uh, uh, like Andrea said, Ma Maverick's dad said, you know, 
breathe, and start again, which is what you have to do. And when you do that, when you do the breathing and you start again, that gives your body a whole sense of calm. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. There was a little bit more room. Oh, that's okay. So we're going to turn it like this so we can all see. And see, you can stand on your head to read the others, or you can just turn it over like this if you choose to. It's up to you. <laughs> or like Maverick said, you can turn the hearts the other way. It's up to you. But anyway, I'll have to repin Yeah, that. we probably want to make it a little yeah. bit higher like there. Yeah, instead of so we'll repin it. That's why we use straight pins. Yeah. Because <laughs> we can take it apart and refix it the way we want it to look. But anyway, this is our um, heart that represents kind of the book that we read, but took it a little bit further and took it into um, the uh, holidays uh, for Christmas. And you can hang it up, and then every time you look at it, you focus on a word and go, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want to deal with. So this is the, as I said, this is the heart. And on the little heart it says in here, the very center, it says, in my, in my heart at Christmas. So, so the, in my heart at Christmas would be all of the words, friends, family, mm, happiness, right. joy, warm feelings, gratitude, love, loving home, blessings, peaceful, calm, and... Giggles and wiggles. Yeah. <laughs> Giggles and wiggles. And how that interrelated to make that. And it's, a, and it's a visual reminder of sometimes when we get off kilter or we get unhappy or we get in that place that... You, you could know, probably fit way to 13 be. hearts to put another one right here. Yeah. You could also put this one here, too, if you wanted to. Or yeah. right in the top. Yeah. Uh -huh. You could put it on the top if you wanted. There's lots of different ways you can do it. And you don't necessarily have to do hearts. You can do packages, maybe. You can do Christmas packages. Or if you wanted to do something like this, for Hanukkah, you could take candles. Because that's one of the representation things that, in, when the, uh, full, the religion of Hanukkah You can is do the eight candles. of them instead of 12. And you can do eight instead of 12. Just make your candles bigger, wider. Or just have more of a space than what we yeah. put here. Or have more space. So you could do that, too. Lots of things you can do with it. Thank you very much for your help this morning, sweetie. And so I wish you a very pleasant rest of the day and see what other wonderful ideas you can come up with that relates to books and it relates to the way that you want to be in the world. Because when you make a difference for yourself, you make a difference for your whole world. All right? So thank you very much for joining Maverick and I. You guys have a great, great rest of the day. And until we see you the next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>